I am Columbus Police Chief Tom Quinlan. My initial reaction to the videos released today was anger and deep disappointment. And I know it is horrifying to everyone else who looks at it. One of the core values of the Columbus Division of Police is compassion. And the body-worn camera video released today shows little of that. Let me repeat what I said last week. Andre Hill should be alive today. A Columbus police officer is responsible for his death. I can't defend it. I can't make it right. But I will do what is in my power. Adam Coy is the man who fired the shots that took Andre Hill's life. And he is no longer a Columbus police officer. His violations of policy and standards were so clear cut and so egregious, his termination could not wait. He now faces an independent criminal investigation by the state and by the U.S. Department of Justice. There were many other officers who responded to the scene. None of them used deadly force, but as seen in these videos, few of them rendered first aid to Mr. Hill as they waited for a medic. We are investigating to get to the bottom of who upheld the policies and standards of the Columbus Division of Police and who did not. Because of the large number of officers at the scene, the large amount of video to examine, the many interviews that have to be done, I don't yet have those answers for you. But I will give you my word, I will. You will have the answers you demand and deserve. And we aren't waiting for those answers to take action. Last week, I imposed tighter, tougher policies on all Columbus police officers when it comes to use of their body-worn cameras and their duty to render first aid. As a police chief and just as a human being, the events of last week have left me shaken and heartbroken for the family of Andre Hill. Every man and woman who wears this badge should feel the same. I won't tolerate a repeat of these failures. And where officers failed, they will be held accountable. Once again, I ask you to join me in praying for Andre Hill and the comfort of those who loved him.